All right, guys, welcome to the video, PPC Lead Gen Machine. I know it says SEO Lead Gen Machine there, but I'm going to go into that in a second. This is the pay-per-click lead gen machine system that Cameron and I use. Uh, what I want to do here in this video, I know Cameron did his little intro before, but what I want to do in this video here is give you the overview of the process for the SEO lead gen machine, which is kind of part one to this in a, in a weird way. It's, it's not really, but it kind of goes together with it. So I want to give you a brief overview of what we do there and how it applies here so that you can use that as well. Okay. So first of all, how it works, it's ridiculously simple. Okay. All we do is we pick a city and a niche. Now, please, if you haven't bought anything from us before, you're going to get to know me very, very well. If you have, you should know exactly what I'm going to say right now. Don't write us and say, is this a good city or is it a good niche? Don't write us what businesses should we choose. Don't write us and say, should we choose locksmiths or should we choose plus? Listen, does the business exist? Yes. Good. Step number one, complete. Does the business have a product? Yes. Step number one, uh, two, number two, complete. Does the business have customers that take money out of their pocket and put it into the business buying something? Yes. Okay, perfect. Great niche best niche I've ever seen in my life. Okay. The city, what city should we choose? Are there human beings living in the city? Yes. Awesome. Best city I ever heard. Okay. That's how you pick a niche. It's not a 45 day process on 30 different platforms where you're looking to see competition and the charts and the graphs and the bar lines, and everything. Garbage. You're wasting your time. Is the business in business? Good. Are they profitable? Do they sell to people? Yes. Perfect niche. Awesome. Love it. Best niche I ever heard of. The city. Are there people living in it? If they're all dead, you can't sell anything, right? But is there people you can't sell in a cemetery, right? But if they're alive, can you sell to them? Yes. Okay. Great niche. Great city. Perfect. Everything's great. Okay. That's how you do it. Don't write us and ask us because you're not going to get a response. You're just not because you're wasting your time. You're wasting our time. All right. So pick a city, pick a niche. Don't care what it is. As long as it meets the, that criteria, it's good to go. Once we pick a city and pick a niche, literally throwing a dart at a board because it doesn't matter, we rank a website using SEO inside of that niche, inside of that city and, and you know where we chose to go. After we do that, we start to generate leads naturally through the website because we've ranked it up in the top five or so. And naturally, we're getting calls and emails and everything else about the service that we're offering in that city. And we're not offering any service, but the website is up there saying that we're offering the service, right? So the phone's ringing, and it's on a call tracking number so we know exactly how many calls we're getting and everything else. We're getting emails in, and we're saving them. We're keeping them. Then what we do is we look for businesses that aren't on page one and we sell the site to them. They could be on page two. They could be on page 200. It doesn't matter. Okay. As long as they're not on page one, we're selling them the website. Okay. The website sells for between 500 to $3,000. Those are just the prices that we use. And it really doesn't matter uh, what you choose to do. The way that I decide on what the price is going to be is there's a couple different ways, but the best way that I like to do it is if I like to look at their site first and then say to myself, are they using an SEO service? And you could usually tell, right? There's certain things that you can look at or whatever. You'll, you'll know. Um, if they are using an SEO service, I'm going to like kind of guess and say that maybe it's $1,000 a month or $3,000 a month or $5,000 a month, whatever it is, depending on the city and the niche and how big it is and everything else, I'm going to guess at a price they're paying per month. And that's what I'm going to sell the site for one time fee. And the way that I'm going to approach that person and pitch that idea is I'm going to say, listen, right now you're spending probably, I would guess around $2,000 a month for your SEO. Am I high? Am I low? Am I dead on? He's going to say, no, you're about right. Maybe a little low, a little high, whatever. Right. I'm going to say, okay, you're paying $2,000 a month for search engine optimization on your site. And basically what you're doing, Joe, is you're throwing a dart at a board or you're rolling the dice. You have no clue. If that's going to work or it's not going to work. And right now, looking at the search results, it's not working because you're not on page one. Now, we have this site that is on page one. We're not going to charge $2,000 a month for it. We're going to charge $2,000 one time. And by this evening, you're guaranteed the number four spot because that's where we are. And you just take control of the site. It's yours. That's a very, very easy pitch to do. It makes sense to everyone involved and it sells every time. Okay. Now, 
the beauty of this is that we sell every site that we make. 100% closing ratio, kind of. I'm a little bit lying there because it's not 100% closing ratio, but I'll explain what I mean by that. We sell every site that we make, okay? So what I mean by the 100% closing ratio is if they're, on, if, they're, if they're in spot one on page two, we call that person, right? They could say no, that, that's fine. But then we go to number two. They could say no. We go to number three. They could say no. Eventually, by the time we get to the end, there, someone's going to buy it, right? So 100% closing ratio does not mean that every single person that I call buys a site from us. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is, though, every site that we make gets sold when we're selling it, okay? Because all we do is we go through the list of people that are on page two and page three and page four, and we never get that deep into it. But we just keep going until somebody says yes, okay? Every service that we add to the site increases value of this uh, increases the value of the site. So that's where this comes in. That's where the PPC part of it comes in. Okay. So an SEO website the site that's just you we just use search engine optimization on it. It's it's just that's the only way that we're bringing in traffic for it. That's going to sell between five hundred to uh, to about three thousand dollars. Okay. If we then add pay per click to that, the price goes up thousand five thousand okay on average right so in the bullet point number two we have seo it's ranking in the three spot or the two spot or whatever and we also have pay-per-click campaigns that are built into it okay that site selling between a thousand to five thousand dollars next we have landing pages so now what's happening is we have the site seo'd so it's ranked two three four whatever we have pay-per-click that's not going to the home page, but it's going to landing pages, and we're building a list for them. There's a follow-up sequence built into it, and they get control of the whole entire thing. That sells for three thousand to ten thousand dollars. Okay, and then if they want us to continue on to build out more funnels for them and more follow-up sequences and everything else, we charge an ongoing fee per month to do that. Okay, same thing goes with SEO. If they want to continue and use an SEO service with us. They pay a monthly fee. They don't have to, but they could. Same thing goes with pay-per-click. We're going to go through that in this training, right? They can buy this site from us after we set up all the campaigns in, inside of Google AdWords. If they want us to manage those campaigns and run them for them, they have to pay us a monthly fee, a percentage of what they spend on the ads, right? Here's a good guideline for you because none of this stuff really matters when it comes to SEO, pay-per-click, landing pages. It doesn't matter. One service is about 500 to three grand. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. You could just do landing pages, right? We didn't teach that yet. But you could just do landing pages. Site's going to sell about between uh, 500 and 3 grand, about that, okay? You could just do PPC, this training here, 500 to 3,000. You could just do SEL, 500 to 3,000. It doesn't matter what service you pick. That's the price that it's going to, to command with one service on it. Same thing goes for two services. doesn't matter which one you pick. The price is going to be the same, and three services um, – is going to be about 5000 and I limited it at 5000 because the $10,000 number is going to include it, – it has to include landing pages and also a sequence to it. All right, We're not just going to build a landing page and sell it to them and bump the price up five grand. That's not going to happen, right? We have a landing page. We have an autoresponder integrated into the landing page. We have sequences that go into it and all that, okay? Text messages, voicemail, phone calls, email. It's a big process. We're going to teach that next, actually. Here we're going to be focusing on pay-per-click, strictly pay-per-click. It's very important that you understand your goal is to create a pay-per-click campaign for a website that you own and then sell the website to a business owner. Okay? What does this mean? You're not going to be sitting around studying metrics all day. We don't care. We're not going to sit around doing keyword research for 12 hours. We don't care, okay? If our niche is Detroit, or our city is Detroit, and our niche is plumbing, I don't care if plumbing Detroit costs $85,000 a click. It doesn't matter because we're not going to be paying for it. They are. We're just setting up the campaign for them. We're not going to pay for the clicks. We're not going to worry about how much it costs. It doesn't matter. We're not here to get conversions for us. We're not here to get traffic for us. We're not here to get leads for us. We're here to get leads for them. All we're doing is setting it up. 
And I can't stress that enough because I don't want you to confuse the two. Okay, this training is not about you driving traffic to your landing page so that you could sell a freaking ClickBank book. This pay traffic, this, this course is not about you setting up uh, pay per click campaigns to get offline businesses to call you and be consulting clients of yours. That's not what this is about. This is about setting up pay per click campaigns on sites that you own so that you can then sell the website. That's the only reason we're doing it. The example that I just gave Cameron, I think it's a good one, and it illustrates it well, and I think you guys will understand it this way a little bit better. Let's say you're a real estate investor. You buy a house, right? The house is $100,000. You're going to fix it up. You put $20,000 into it, and you decide to increase the value of the home. You're going to put a pool in the backyard, an in-ground pool. Don't design the pool so that you can swim in it. Design the pool and put the pool in so that you can sell the house for more money. Okay? That's what we're doing here. We're not designing pay-per-click campaigns so that we benefit from it. We're not designing pay-per-click campaigns that we believe are going to work for our business. We're designing pay-per-click campaigns for the prospect's business. And we're going to be selling it to them usually within – when you do this, you don't have to worry about ranking the website. So when you do this, you can sell it to them in a day. It doesn't even matter. All right? So here's the process. Very simple. It's just – it's the same as, as what we did before, but we'll talk about it again. I'm going to create a simple website using WordPress for a niche or uh, uh, and a city. Remember, very important, guys. Niche in a city doesn't matter. Does not matter. Is the business making money? Yes, perfect. It's great. Does the city have living people in it? Yes. Awesome city. Best ever. That's all you got to worry about. Okay? Make it simple. Don't go crazy with it. Number two, you're going to set up a pay-per-click campaign for the website. You're not paying for clicks. You're not paying for traffic. You don't have to go hunting for coupon codes for 12 hours. None of that stupid stuff. Set it up inside of Google AdWords. Cameron will show you how to do it because I don't know how, to be honest with you. That's, his, that's what he does. So Cameron will set that up for you and show you how to do it. Set it up. Leave it alone. And then you go on and you sell it to them. All, right, all you got to do is just look on page two or lower. You don't want to sell to someone on the first page. You're already there. What's the point? Right? You want to sell on people that are lower than the first page. It's better. You're going to close them easier. The website's going to sell for $500 to $3,000. And like I said, you could do one of these every day because you don't have to worry about with the SEO thing, it takes time to rank the site up. Right? So you could build a site and then like a month and a half later, it's, it's finally getting to where you can sell it. With this, you could start at 9 o'clock in the morning. You could be selling in the afternoon because right? it's really not that hard to do. And it doesn't take any time. You just set the campaign up and you're done. You sell every single site that you own. You don't hold on to them. You don't, you know, every site that you make gets sold. I mean, that's just the way it is. And you just keep calling people until they buy it from you. And I'm going to give you a complete script. I'll show you the tonality and the pace and the formation of the script, everything. You'll know exactly how to murder people on the phone when you get done with this. Um, it's pretty easy to do. And uh, like I said, every single site that you create is going to get sold because you have an unlimited number of leads. Not really, but virtually unlimited. If you get to page 10 and you haven't sold a site yet, something's wrong with what you're saying. I mean, that's just the way it is. And there's you know, 50, 60, 70 pages for every single keyword in the world. So you shouldn't really worry about that too much. There's plenty of people to call. And you can also use email. If you want to be a little wimpy about it and like cry and complain about it, you can use email. I would never in my life do it because you're wasting your time, but you could. I mean, I guess I can give you one if you want one. Again, you'll be wasting your time completely, but if you're really deathly afraid of the phone and you have to like sniff Xanax before you pick up the telephone when your parents call or your friends call because you're so deathly afraid of talking to people, maybe email is the way to start off. But if you could just you know, get a little bit of guts going and pick up the phone and call people, you'll be able to sell the sites pretty easily. Again, I can't stress this enough. I want to make sure that you guys understand this. It's very, very important that you get this. We are not here to build SEO uh, pay-per-click campaigns for your business, okay? Because I know what's going to happen, and that's why I put this in there twice. You're going to sit in front of AdWords, and you're going to be, like, researching keywords and prices and, like, all this stuff for, for like, days on, on end, and you're wasting your time. If you want to just make money, you prospect, you pitch, you close – and you provide. Keyword research is not in there. I mean, it's just, it's, those are the four things. It's not in there. Picking the best WordPress theme, it's not in those four things. Prospect, find the people. 
right? Page two and below. Pitch, sell them your idea. Close, these are our MasterCard, what's better for you? Ask them for money. Provide, give them the site. Those are the four things you need to do, that's it, okay? It's not keyword research. It's not looking for the, uh, the perfect theme. It's not, it's not going on Keyword Spy for 13 hours and looking at all these different combinations and everything else. Nobody cares. If you pick plumbers in Denver, Colorado, then plumbers in Denver, Colorado is what you're going to buy. The price of it doesn't matter because you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for them. So make sure you guys understand that. All right. So just so you guys know, too, um, we have the SEO lead gen machine. There's a link to it below this video. I don't think you really need it, but if you want to go the SEO route, which I think you should be, you, you should have the ability to add that service because the more services you add, the more money you're going to make per site. So what we've done since you bought this is we've given you um, a discount code underneath here so you can get that. It's like, it's not that much, but it's like $9 or something uh, with the discount code. So the link is below that with the discount code. Don't go right to it though. Don't go right to the SEO thing because you're going to spend more money. Click the discount code that we provided you below and you'll get it for uh, half price. But I think it's like $9 or something. It's not that much money. So if you wanted to be able to add the SEO service as well so that you can charge more for the sites, you can get that below uh, using the discount code. Okay, that is it for this video. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. If not, I'll see you coming up in the next one. Hello everybody, Cameron here, and welcome to the PPC Legion Machine Module 1. In this module, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of exactly what we'll be covering in this training and how you can use it and add it to your current Legion Machine asset. So, in this particular module, first we're gonna be covering what exactly is PPC why everybody should be using PPC for their current lead gen asset. Even if you have a lead gen asset that is just currently producing leads all the time on autopilot from SEO, you should still actually be using PPC and I'll go into a little bit of, uh, later. We're gonna go exactly into how PPC works and how I'm actually using PPC with my current lead gen assets and my current clients to actually be bringing in profits every single month. We'll briefly touch on PPC funnels and some key PPC metrics. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, what exactly is PPC? When we say PPC, we're simply referring to pay per click and paid advertising. Okay, this is a particular form of pay, paid advertising where every time someone clicks on an ad that you've placed in front of them, essentially, you have to pay a, a certain amount of money. Okay, there's lots of different PPC platforms, way too many to cover here, but we're going to be working primarily with Google AdWords and Google PPC. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the other options, but it is still very, very effective. All right. So you have Google AdWords, you have Facebook, you have Yahoo, and you have Microsoft as some of the bigger ones. PPC is actually a huge marketplace. I know most people when they hear pay per click or when they talk about paid advertising, it does take an initial investment. So they're a little bit worried about it and they don't know exactly, you know, that since it takes that initial investment it's a little bit risky so there is that you know kind of thing hanging out there but pay-per-click advertising can actually be highly highly profitable if you do it right and if you just follow some key metrics and since it is such a huge marketplace you can get in front of your your target audience in simply minutes all right it does require an initial investment like i said before since it does require that initial initial investment it does make some people think they shouldn't try it, right? You, you think that you should do just SEO since SEO is free, even though SEO is very time consuming. But even with that initial investment, you can still be, like I said, highly profitable with PPC advertising. Also like SEO, PPC uses, there's uh, an algorithm that it uses to determine your bid price. So where SEO uses algorithms to determine where you actually rank, there is an algorithm that determines how much you're actually going to be paying for your pay-per-click advertising. The better your ads, the more relevant your ads, the actual less you'll pay, the more that the, the pay-per-click platforms will actually show your advertising to your target market. So it's not the same as SEO, but it is somewhat similar. So why should you be using PPC? Well, I really think PPC is one of a really valuable skill, somewhat like SEO, where you can just simply understand how it works and the a few key points that you need to pay attention when it comes to PPC, and you can really outsource it all. It's a really valuable skill and you don't really have to technically master it. 
you can really just get a really good in-depth understanding of PPC, which is what we're going to be going over throughout this this training, the PPC League Gen Machine training, trying to help you get a really good basic fundamental understanding of how PPC works so you can identify important aspects of a PPC campaign so that you can add it to your League Gen Machine and so that you can start to maybe profit it from it in the future by providing it as a service to all the offline businesses. What happens is once you have that good fundamental understanding of PPC, you don't really have to master it because there's other people who have spent time and money and effort out there actually mastering PPC and finding out exactly how to set up all the, you know, setting up all the split tests. They know all the technical aspects and really all you have to do is just know a few really good core concepts like how to write good ads, how to create increased conversions and things like that. And you can just take a 60,000 view of the, of the PPC campaign and really deliver a lot of value to your own personal Legion machine assets or to your clients. Another thing with PPC, it's really, really easy to implement, okay? It's really easy. I, I can literally have a PPC campaign set up using Google AdWords within 10 minutes, not a problem. Since it is such so so easily implemented, people do get into situations where they have a PPC campaign set up so easily and they think, oh, this is great because I'm gonna get lots of traffic, but it also, you know, it's good and bad because that ease of implementation also makes it kind of difficult or excuse me makes it easy for you to blow through your ad spend so you can actually waste a lot of money since it's so easy to set up on the other hand you it's also easily improved so if you are in a situation where you're running a ppc campaign for a client or for one of your legion machine websites and it's not performing the way you want with a few split tests you can really improve your ppc legion campaign and start delivering really, really great results just by making a few tweaks. And it's easy to identify what the tweaks that you need to make are because there's so much information you can get from PPC and different types of tools these days that once you see what those those changes that need to be made are, and once you do change them, you can really start get a you know, 180 degree turn on the results that your campaigns are producing. Now, since it does have that, is since it is so easily implemented and there are so many people and it's such a huge marketplace. There is a low barrier to entry. And by that, I mean, anybody can basically go in, set up an ad, set up a website and start doing PPC traffic. Therefore, it may have a high cost of doing business. I, I There's nothing different than seeing offline clients who are willing to pay a hundred to a thousand dollars per click, not per lead, mind you, I'm just saying per click. So. I have I have clients who have certain sales that they know if they get, you know, a lead that comes in through a click, they're willing to pay a thousand dollars for that click because that client could be worth to them ten thousand dollars or twelve, fifteen thousand dollars. So if that they're willing to pay that higher cost per click because it's such a low barrier entry and they'll actually jack up the price. I have clients who are more than willing to jack up the price of a PPC campaign just to get some of the, the lower guys in their industry or in their competition out of the marketplace because again, such a low barrier to entry. Uh, another thing about PPC is that it, you can outsource it. And in fact, once you get more than one or two clients with PPC, if you go that route in the future, we're not going to really be covering how to do all the consulting and stuff like that when it comes to PPC in this particular training. But if you do want to go that route, if you find that PPC management is something that you're really good at and you really enjoy doing for your offline clients in terms of delivering value, then it's, there's really no point anymore for a lot of the online services that, that you can offer. There's really no point to kind of quote unquote master it because there's so many people out there who can help you and who are really, really good at helping get, get down and get in the nitty gritty, kind of do all the tasks that need to be done to get a high functioning PPC campaign. For example, I, I, I don't ever do keyword research anymore. There's, it's just really time consuming, but it's really vital to a campaign. So there's no need for uh, a business owner like us or like you or myself to actually go out, spend two to four hours doing keyword research for one campaign when you can just hire someone from Upwork or, or o, what it's formerly known as o, Odesk. I think they just recently changed their name to like Upwork or something. So. There's no reason for you to spend two to four hours as a business owner actually doing in-depth keyword research when you can simply hire someone from Upwork to do the keyword research for you and they're really good at it, all right? 
like I said, it's easily outsourcing. You just need to worry as a business owner and as a campaign manager, you just need to worry about a few key aspects of the campaign to determine, you know, to get the results that your client wants. Okay. And then there's lots of opportunity out there. Any bit, lots of businesses own businesses out there are using PPC right now. Uh, like I said, there's just basically no barrier to entry. All you need is 50 bucks. If you have a hundred bucks, you can actually get free, free Google AdWords coupon. So, I mean, there's absolutely no barrier of entry and there's every single, every single business out there needs more leads. So therefore there's plenty of opportunity. Another really important reason why you should be using PPC is because Google actually loves PPC. Depending on what numbers you're looking at from what decade, I mean, Google actually gets about 95% of their profits from PPC and other paid advertising, okay? So obviously Google wants you to be spending money on PPC. And since they want you to be spending money on it, they actually set up and encourage you to go out there and you know set up these AdWord campaigns, unlike SEO. So one of the big things about SEO is basically anytime you're doing it, anything with SEO to kind of improve your rankings, quote unquote, that's technically probably can be considered in some form or fashion against the Google terms of service agreements. Whereas PPC, as long as you're not doing anything malicious, as long as you're not completely misleading people, which you wouldn't be able to do anyway because your ads wouldn't get approved. But as long as you're not doing anything malicious with PPC, then Google is going to encourage you to continue to use PPC. Hopefully you can continue to include increase your quality of your ads and you can lower actually lower the price of the traffic and Google will send you more traffic. So Google actually loves PPC. They encourage you to use PPC unlike SEO. Next we have scalability. One of the great things about PPC is once you can actually get a funnel with a low cost per acquisition, a high ROI, there's literally no limitations to how high you can scale PPC. Okay. I guess the only limitations, especially since we're doing these local Legion machine websites, the only limitations that you're going to actually have is the number of people that you can reach. But in that same sense, you can just create the same Legion machine in a different city. So, you know, there's really, in my opinion, there's no limitation to how far you can scale PPC because especially once you get your funnel the right way where you're actually profitable from your funnel. So that means that your cost per acquisition is less than your segmentation sale then every dollar that you spend essentially on PPC actually turns into a dollar 50 or a dollar 66 in which case you know you could just keep spending that money every single day if you spend a thousand dollars you make a thousand six hundred and sixty six dollars back so the scalability is literally limitless all right and then finally when it comes to PPC and why you should be using it because there's so many tools that make it just absolutely easy the, the ability to outsource it. I mean, there's just no reason why you shouldn't be implementing PPC into your local Legion machine. All right. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about how PPC works. Now, one key thing that you need to that you need to keep in mind when it comes to PPC Legion machine in this training, the reason that we're setting up this this for your Legion ad set, right, is because we want you to have be able to add value to your lead gen asset. So the, the local lead gen site that you set up, simply by the fact that it's lead gen ready and it's PPC ready, that automatically by default adds value to your lead, local lead gen machine. Even if you started with the SEO lead gen machine, okay, from our previous training. This training is just to show you how to add that value to your asset, okay? Not necessarily to give you in-depth over the shoulder view we have some of that in the advanced training but this is not to give you an in-depth over the shoulder view of every single variation and permutation and combination that you can do with google ppc this is only to show you how to add this asset to your local lead gen machine okay with that in mind in this particular training we're only going to be focusing on google ppc google pay-per-click the google adwords so we're not going to be touching on facebook or you know all the Bing network or any, anything like that we're only going to be talking about Google PPC and how to add that that asset how to add Google PPC to your lead gen machine asset okay when we're talking about PPC we want to be sending PPC directly to a funnel we don't want to be sending it anywhere else that's all we want to focus on okay and another thing that we're going to be talking about is the biggest mistake that 97% of the people make when they actually start with PPC 
um, because you hear all the horror stories out there about how somebody had an AdWords campaign set up with Google PPC and it's so expensive, so they had to spend like you know a thousand dollars, but they spent a thousand dollars in two days and they got zero leads from it, right? Well, that's because they're all making the same mistake. They're they're not they're not setting up their PPC campaigns correctly, and when you, when there's just a few tweaks, the few things about the campaign that are set up wrong, it's really going to destroy your campaign. Google, like I said in the previous slide, Google loves PPC, so they will spend your money if you do not set up the PPC correctly, okay? Some other common mistakes that people make, they're gonna be using too many keywords, they're gonna actually be targeting the wrong keywords, and we're touch, I touch a lot more on keywords in the advanced training, so if you have that advanced training, just go through first the, the, the basic training or go through all the training in this members area, and then once you get your advanced training, you'll see kind of everything that we talk about in terms of keywords setting up your keywords and things like that okay another thing that they'll do is they won't have enough ad groups set up that's really important because of split testing which we'll cover in a later module but making sure you have enough ad groups set up and making sure you follow your metrics they most business owners don't have any metrics when or anyone who's doing ppc they don't have any metrics to really follow they just kind of set it up and it's that old mentality of the pump and dump which is basically pumping out pumping in a lot of traffic to your website and hoping that it converts right that's the wrong way to do it we want to avoid that at all costs now the good thing about this legion machine and having your assets set up is that you just want to get your legion asset set up so it's ppc ready so a lot of these things you don't really necessarily have to worry about right away you just need to make sure that you know what they are so you have that fundamental understanding of ppc all right so let's look at a typical PPC funnel. First thing we're gonna be doing is creating a PPC ad, and we're gonna be doing this, like I said, only in the Google AdWords for this particular training, all right? And you're gonna be manually setting up all your PPC ads. Mario has a great training video, which actually goes through, you know, some of our highest converting ads that we've used for our lead gen machines and we've used for our offline clients that will really help you generate lots of traffic. Again, you do not have to set up these ads right away. We just want to give you that basic fundamental understanding of what goes into creating an ad, all right? Another thing is you want to be making sure that you're creating multiple ad groups to do split testing. Split testing is very important when it comes to ads because you can constantly improve your funnel, which is going to constantly lower the cost per click, constantly deliver more leads, and it's really exponential. Okay, so having split tests is really, really important and having different ad groups set up to do different split tests. Next, we have a landing page. Like I said in the previous in the previous slide, one of the biggest mistakes that people have when they're setting up their PPC funnels and 97% of the people is they just have that pump and dump mentality. They're just sending traffic into a, a website without any care about what happens to it and just hoping it converts. One of the biggest ways to get around that is by creating landing pages. Uh, it's gonna capture the user's information, it's gonna have a strong call to action. Now, landing pages is quite literally an entirely different training. We're gonna touch on it in this local Legion PPC training, but our next training that's gonna be coming out in this series of how to set up a Legion machine is actually gonna focus 100% on landing pages because it is simply that important. It can really make or break a campaign and it's what we are gonna have to spend an entire training on just to get the right understanding of how to set up the best, highest converting landing pages possible, okay? But uh, the, the proper way to set up a PPC funnel, if you were doing it, will be from creating the ad and then sending them to a landing page and then finally making sure that you have some type of follow-up it can be an automated follow-up which is if it had a phone call obviously that would be a really high objective um, to get a phone call into your legion machine which you can then track and sell to your offline businesses or having some type of automated email follow-up online moving on how do we take PPC to profits, right? Well, the first thing you want to do is start driving into SEO sites. So if you've already gotten our previous training from this lead gen machine SEO, and you already started setting that up and you're maybe getting some SEO traffic, you're following your rankings. That's absolutely great. Continue to do that. But that's just one segment of the entire lead gen machine, right? SEO is just one segment. PPC is another great 
great, great traffic source to start sending to that lead gen machine asset, right? Because that's what we're setting up. We're setting up these assets. So if you can start pushing traffic to that with PPC as well, then you can really increase the, the value that it's going to deliver to your clients. And you just for your actual asset, you don't actually have to start driving the traffic before you sell it. You can actually just get it so that your your Legion site Legion machine is ready to send that traffic. OK, so it's PPC ready. You have some campaign set up, have the analytics set up and things like that, and you're ready to go. Next, let's talk about how to drive it directly to a sales funnel. Well, even if you don't have an SEO site set up and you just want to do a pure PPC Legion machine, just for getting calls so you just want to sell the sell the leads right away that's a great option to do it as well and that's basically from our perspective as the people selling the leads that's driving it directly to a sales funnel it's going to look exactly the same essentially from the user's perspective but sales funnel meaning prospects are coming in from google they're calling your call tracking number the call tracking number is then sending out directly to a business owner who then pays you right away for that lead Okay. Uh, finally, we're not going to really touch on this too much in this, in this training, but uh, you can also do PPC. Cons you can work as a PPC consultant or PPC management. Um, here we're talking about doing things like PPC audits, ongoing services to manage PPC accounts, and again, all of those are exactly the same as what we're going to be talking about for your Legion machine. Where once you understand the fundamentals, it's really easy to outsource. To be honest with you. I do not handle any PPC for my offline clients. Um, unlike SEO, where I still have to have meetings and see what's going on with particular campaigns and t kind of determining things to test. When it comes to PPC, I mean, it's pretty much all automated by my outsourcing team. They handle all the ad copy. They handle everything. The only time I ever have to touch a campaign is when it's not converting well or when my client is not getting any leads from it. And that's usually just because we have to do something from the client side, right? So I have to convince my client that they need to add some type of follow up or they need to answer the phones differently. It's never because of my team, if my outsourcing team not doing an effective job in terms of pay per click management, okay? Because you do not need to master how to do all the ins and outs of PPC. There's so many tools, there's so many people who are proficient at PPC. All you simply have to do is learn the core fundamentals, okay? Next, let's talk about some key metrics. I, I touched on this a couple times earlier, but um, we don't want to go this into this too much, but I just want to show you a couple important metrics that you need to be on the lookout for when it comes to PPC and setting up PPC for your local Legion machine. Again, your job is only to master PP, master some of the core fundamentals of PPC, not to master the ins and out and keyword development and all that you just need to have some key understandings about ppc in order to effectively add that to your local legion machine asset all right so when it comes to the ppc the first thing that you need to learn about is click through rate the click through rate is how many people will see your ad compared to how many act people actually click on to your ad all right the higher the click through rate the basically the more traffic you're going to get so to determine the click through rate, you simply divide the number of clicks you got by the number of impressions. The number of impressions are the number of people who saw your ad. So for the example on the first line there, as you can see, we had some type of fictitious pay per click campaign running and there was 100 people who saw it. So there was 100, 100 people who actually typed in the search phrase and one person clicked it that means our click through rate is one percent so when we're talking about ppc a really great way to increase the results for your legion machine is simply by increasing the click through rate the next we have is cost per action or cost per acquisition i'm going to use those terms interchangeably it's essentially the cost that you spend in terms of ad spend to get a new lead okay to determine your cost per acquisition you simply Take the total ad spend, so how much money you spent in ad Google AdWords. So let's say, you know, over the last five days we spent a thousand dollars total. And then you divide that by the number of conversions you got. Okay. So this is not the number of clicks. There's, there's a big difference when we're talking about this right now with CPA in the terms of conversions and clicks. Clicks is how many people actually physically click the link. Conversions is the number of people who actually took the desired action. Okay. 
I know I might be going through this a little bit fast, but you can rewind the video, watch it again. Clicks are the number of people who actually clicked your link, where conversions is the number of people who took the desired action. The desired action might be filling out an email, uh, you know, a contact form with their email address. The desired action is maybe a phone call. Whatever that is, you need to determine what your cost per acquisition is to determine if your funnel is profitable or not, okay? To determine your, your cost per action, you simply divide your ad spend. So again, a thousand divide thousand dollars divided by the conversions the number of people who took your desired action and that gets you your cost per action so in this case we spent a thousand dollars we got let's say we got one phone call into our local legion machine site from ppc okay you can't mix in the seo numbers if you're doing seo as well only focus on ppc if that's the case that means that your cost per action was one thousand dollars so that means that you're whoever you're selling the lead to that person needs to be paying you more than a thousand dollars that person may have to pay you two thousand dollars for your local legion machine to be profitable in terms of you running ads for it or just selling the ads right away or if it's going directly to a business owner after you flip and sold the site if a business owner is running a ppc campaign to the legion machine site you set up well then and they have these metrics for the cost per action they spent a thousand dollars they got one new client that new client then needs to be worth at least one thousand dollars to that business owner right the next we have the roi you definitely need to obviously know the roi from your ppc campaign so let's say for example that you have an actual profit okay of five hundred dollars so the the profit is how much money that you got after everything is all said and done right so whatever it is whatever client you're working with, they have $500 added to their pocket at the end of the day. And then you divide that by the ad spend. So how much, however much money they spent in PPC for that particular campaign, right? So maybe they spent $300. Well, you simply do that and then you get 166%. So that means that for every $1 you spend, your ROI, the amount of money that you get back is $1.66. Okay, so that means you get 66 cents for every dollar that you spend on PPC. Now, again, if you're just setting up your local Legion machine site as an asset that you can then sell to a local business, these numbers aren't necessarily going to be important for you right away. But it is important that you know kind of some of these key metrics so that you have an understanding of how you can effectively deliver value to your client or to whomever buys your site. If you do ongoing services for a offline business owner and you continue to do PPC, PPC management for them in the future, it's important that you have these metrics and others so that you can show how effective your campaign is. All right. Uh, one more quick note. Google will actually tell you the cost per click for each of your ad groups. So that is an important metrics, but basically once you're in the AdWords campaign and the AdWords manager, you'll be able to see that it does vary and it has to do with all sorts of stuff like your, your ad quality, your position and things like that and your bid amount and the, obviously the keyword, but just know that Google will actually tell you your cost per click. So that is important to know, but you will be able to see that in the Google AdWords manager. But so if you're using a different platform for uh, paid advertising, or PPC specifically, you need to make sure that you can easily determine your cost per click, okay? And that is going to do it for this training. So this was just a brief overview of some of the important aspects of setting up a PPC campaign for specifically for your local Legion machine site. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can reach me at my support email at mktgwithcameron at gmail.com. And thanks for watching. Hello everybody, Cameron here. Welcome to this module of Lead Gen Machine PPC, module number three, keyword research. In this module, we're going to be freely covering some of the different aspects of PPC versus SEO when it comes to keyword research. We're also going to be talking about your campaigns versus your ad groups and keyword split tests. Now, in this module, this is not going to be an over actual over the shoulder training on keyword research. We just want to give you some core fundamentals that you can look at when setting up your keywords. Again, if you want to fully understand how to do keyword research yourself so you have a good, strong understanding of it, 
by all means, you can get that training from our advanced training where we ha actually do an over the shoulder training of how I go through keyword research for a particular site and a particular niche for my local Legion machine. However, I do recommend that you get that training and you understand that for yourself. But keyword research, like I mentioned, and module number one is actually something I, I, I always outsource just because I don't want to actually go through the the steps of actually doing it but if you don't ever if you've never done keyword research before i do suggest that you get a good understanding of it and that's what we're going to be covering in this module all right so let's go ahead and get started first let's talk about ppc versus seo when it comes to keywords now for those of you who who don't know me i actually have my own seo business and i have a consulting business uh, with my offline clients. I provide PPC services as well, which I outsource 100%. But um, when it comes to keywords, if you're doing SEO, you know how important it is to get a lot of different keywords and target different keywords and come at keywords at a lot of different angles. PPC, that is not the case. When it comes to PPC keywords, less is more. And I say less is more, and I really do mean that. I don't mean that kind of just as a a quote unquote saying I mean that actually as a fact less is more the less keywords that you have the more effective that your campaign is going to be the higher quality score is going to be the less money that you're going to have to spend on your clicks especially on Google and the more results that you're going to get okay so literally in every sense of the every sense of the phrase less is more when it comes to keywords and PPC in our advanced training, we have over the shoulder training of how I actually go through and get keywords and determine what keywords that I use for different campaigns and ad groups. But when it comes to PPC keywords, less is more. Now, most of you know the different keyword types. You have uh, broad phrase and exact. Broad match just basically means if a letter basically is in that same search phrase, Google's going to put your ad in front of them. Um, we don't work a lot with broad. The only type of broad match keywords I do are what are called modified broad matching. And I use that a lot with the different city modifiers. I use a lot of phrase. Phrase match is what gets you the, the best click through rates in my experience and the best uh, leads for when it comes to local and setting up Legion machine assets. Uh, phrase match is going to be your bread and butter. Exact match. I do use exact match a fair amount as well. And basically, if I just have one keyword that I think is going to be good and I'm not sure if it goes perfectly, then I'll just make that an exact match. Again, if you want to direct over the shoulder training, if you want more information about that, check out our advanced training. You also have negative keywords and negative keywords are good as well to use in your campaigns. Uh, negative keywords can be effective in keeping making sure that Google doesn't just burn through your ad spend if you're working with the client. Negative keywords can also be effective to help you get more traffic from other places. For the for actually finding your keywords, a good place to start is still the Google Keyword Planner. Uh, it is good. You'll get a good sense of the keywords, but you cannot take it directly from Google Keyword Planner. Okay, so Google, the Google Keyword Planner is kind of a catch-22 in the sense of it will give you a good starting place to go from, but you don't want to just use the Google Keyword Planner and just go with that only because if you do that unfortunately it doesn't do a very good job of getting you the the type of keywords that you need to run a profitable campaign all right so uh, it's a good place to start and I, I definitely suggest that you start with the Google Keyword Planner if you're going to be doing PPC keyword yourself research yourself and once you get a, a starting point I guess will be the best way to say it uh, you definitely need to venture out more and kind of create your ad groups and your ad campaigns specifically based on the keywords that you find. All right. Next, um, just like with SEO, tools and software are really going to help you to be effective when it comes to keyword research. The tools that I use the most are Keyword Spy and SEM Rush for my entire business. And they can help what what these tools are really good at doing is they help you see what other people are using for ads and what keywords they're going after. Keyword Spy will actually show you their ROI for some of the terms as well. So I definitely recommend that you, you use those tools to help determine the best keywords to start going after as well and to see what your competition is doing because just like SEO, you can 
you can see a lot of what's going on in terms of PPC with tools and software. All right. Now, when it for PPC again, remember what we're doing here with our Legion machine. We're setting this up as an asset, so you don't need these softwares and tools to get started and start and actually sell your local Legion machine. You just need to get the campaign set up so that your Legion machine is ready to go and ready to be sold to a local business. All right. So one thing that we talk a lot about in the advanced training when we do in the keyword research is how to set up the campaigns versus how to set up the ad groups. All right. I know this chart seems a little confusing right now, but if you want to get more information, please get the advanced training and we definitely cover it a lot more. So the way that it works is we're going to be starting with a general keyword. Okay. Location specific general keyword. If you're actually setting up these Legion machines and you're going to set up your campaign, your, your local Legion machine to be PPC ready. The campaign uh, for the advanced training, we use a term roof repair. So our campaign will be for a specific type of service or our Legion machine. So, right. So if our campaign is roof repair, then our campaign is going to start for that particular Legion site roof repair. Okay. So just imagine at the top where that says the, in the blue, it says campaign. The next thing down is going to be the specific ad group. Okay. Now ad groups are important because they're different variations of your particular keyword. And this is where you do your split testing for the ads for the keywords. Okay. So for, for roof repair, ad group, what number one might be roof leaks ad group. Number two might be flat roof repair or excuse me. No, that's, that's not a good example. The ad group. Number one may be something like, roof leaks uh ad group number two may be like roof replacement right those are two very different keywords and you cannot intermix the two right so what you then do once you have your your group set up you then set up different split tests of like your ads your particular ads your particular landing page and things like that okay the important thing to realize is that your campaigns all this can be split tested okay the, everything from the campaigns down to the keywords. And that brings us to our last point when it comes to your keywords. Always, 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 always run split test. I said it so many times and I said it so long so it can be kind of awkward because that's how long you need to run split test when you're talking about actual setting up, actually setting up and running and managing PPC campaigns. Okay, that's how many times I said always, that's how many months and how many weeks you need to run split tests for your AdWords. It should always be ongoing. What the way that my staff does it is we do weekly split testing. Okay, depending on the campaign size, we do actually do weekly split testing and we remove the losers after two or three days tops. We don't let ineffective ads run for very long if we can see it right away. But typically we do weekly split tests and typically we do monthly keyword overhauls and things like that. Okay. But you always need to, you always need to be running split tests for your PPC campaigns. Now, again, as you're setting this up, the way that we actually set, suggest you set it up for your local Legion machine is that you just set up one campaign and you set up three different split tests within that campaign so that it's PPC ready, because that's all we're doing. We're building an asset here. We are not setting up and actually running a live PPC campaign unless you want to. If you just want to get leads that come in, if you have a nice site that produces good results for you and you just want to bring leads in and then resell them right away, by all means, that's great. You can start running live campaigns that way. It will cost some money. Definitely a route you can take. Either way, you still need to be running split tests. But if you don't want to do it that way, if you kind of want to do it the easy way and just continue to build value into your local Legion machine website, then all you really have to do is get a PPC ready, which means you just need to set up one campaign. Okay. You need it. I do suggest that you set up three different sp split tests in your ad group. So if we just go back to the previous slide here. As you can see, I have one campaign and I have two different groups. When we're setting up our PPC sites that we're just going to be flipping, 
I do suggest that to get a PPC ready, you have one campaign and you have at least three different ad groups that you're ready to split test and you don't really have to do in-depth keyword research for each of them since it's not a live campaign, but I do suggest that you at least start putting getting some keyword ideas all right again in advanced training i go through this all step by step and how to actually do that so if you want more information you can find it there all right but always 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 and forever run split tests on ppc campaigns all right that's going to do it for this video if you have any questions, please let me know. You can contact me at my support email at mktgwithcameron at gmail.com. And thanks for watching. All right, guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to talk about creating ads that convert. So in this module, we are going to cover why engagement in your post is extremely vital, how to create images um, that work very well for free. I'm going to show you a site called Canva. We'll talk about it a little bit. You can use that to create all your images. Uh, why newsfeed ads are the only way to go. The sidebar ads, the ones on the side, are, don't really work that well, so you want to stay away from them. How to write a great description for free clicks and a little bit more. So first we're going to cover post engagement. What is it? Post engagement basically is social proof. It's your likes, your shares, um, and your comments. And it's really cheap. If you do it the right way, you can get post engagements for... Uh, one penny, two pennies, three pennies, you know, somewhere in there, depending on the, the countries that you target and things like that. And the cool thing, what I like about post engagement uh, posts, when you boost the post for engagement, is a lot of times you'll get clicks from the engagement ad itself. And I'm going to show you an example of that at the end of this video. All right, so images. There's a couple different images, uh, types of images that you can use. You can use personal images. Uh, that's the kind that I usually like to use. Um, it's, you know, it's it's me, it's my daughter, it's things that I like to do, it's family, it's stuff like that. And, and that just kind of shows, if you look at bullet point number four, it kind of just shows the regular guy type angle. You know, that's kind of what I'm going for when I do that type of stuff. Uh, girls sell great. I mean, it's just the way it is. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people won't say it, but they just, they do. I mean, that's, you know, if you can have a girl in your image, it's going to work better. All right. Um, family also sells great. I just said that experts sell really good too, but you have to be careful. Um, and the reason why is because you don't want to come across as someone who knows everything. Uh, you don't want to come across as arrogant or anything like that. You don't want to come across as talking down to people. The only time you would want to do that is if you really are an expert in what you're doing. So, for example, I would never claim to be, even though I'm talking about it here, I would never claim to be a Facebook pay-per-click expert because I'm not. I'm just not, right? I use it for my own company, and I do very well with it, but I'm not an expert, okay? I'm far from it. I know more than most people, but I'm not an expert. Talk to me about the telephone, which you guys will learn in the bonus section. I'm better than anybody that ever picked up a phone in their life. I mean, I just am. That's just the way it is. I can close more deals at a higher clip than anybody. I'll outsell anybody. Okay, I'll take that challenge any day of the week. So there, I could sell as the expert. When it comes to Facebook, though, I'm really good at it. I make a lot of money doing it, and my company uses it a lot, and I use it for my clients. But as far as the end-all, be-all guy to go to for Facebook ads... I'm not that person. There's people that are much better than me at it, and I'll be the first one to say that, but I know more than most people do, okay? So I'm qualified to teach it to other people. The copy must match the image uh, that you're using. So if you're going to go the expert route, make sure that your copy in your ad matches that. So you don't want to have an expert image, uh, you know, let's say an expert image, you on stage talking to an audience. And then have your ad copy say, just a regular guy that stumbled upon this thing and now I'm you know, good at it. That's not going to work. Okay, So if you have an expert image, you want to make sure you have an expert um, copy. All right? you, you know, the, the post is, is written as an expert. And always use Canva.com. Canva.com is great for creating images. It's so easy to use. It's free too, by the way. And all you got to do is go on there. You go on Facebook. You click on Facebook Post. And you just create your image. It gives you the exact size you need. You can add images from your desktop. They have stock images that you could do. 
Um, it is free to use. They do have paid images, though. It's a dollar a piece. So you can use the free images that Canva has. You can use images on your hard drive, or you can use the images that cost a dollar. I mean, it's up to you to decide whether you want to do it. I've never once in my life created an ad that costs money on Canva, though. I always use the free stuff or images from my hard drive. So, you know, it, it's completely up to you. But you can create great stuff on there without having to pay anything. All right. And it's the exact size. So when you do it in Canva, you export it, you put it on Facebook, and it's going to be a perfect match for the for the news feed ad. All right. So why do we only use the news feed ad? The number one reason is because that's where the eyes are. Right? The eyes are not focused on the sidebar of Facebook. They're focused on the middle. They're focused on the news feed. So that's where we want to be. I mean, that's just natural, right? We want to go where the eyes are. So we're going to stay in the middle. We're going to stay on the news feed. It's bigger. It gives you more room to write, and it gives you a bigger image, so it grabs more attention. Uh, and you can also have multiple clicks for one price. I'm going to show you that here at the end of this video when I show you uh, a recent ad that I did. I think it was last month or a couple weeks ago. But uh, I'll show you the ad, and we'll go through it, and I'll show you how you can get multiple clicks for one engagement or one click on the ad okay and here is that ad so this is for a seminar that Cameron and I do it's uh, a webinar it's online so um, stop competing for customers and start dominating your industry for free and then I have a bit.li link in there okay that's number one this is an engagement post so remember that okay I'm not paying for clicks I'm paying for engagement so I'm getting them for a penny a piece. I think this one was just under a penny per per thing. It'll show up as a penny, but it was actually cheaper than that when you do the numbers. So stop down, uh, uh, stop competing for customers. Start dominating your industry for free. Link. Learn the five steps to doubling sales that I've been teaching small business owners for the past ten years. Over ten thousand business owners. Uh, after over ten thousand business owners. We know this stuff works. Either you'll use it or your competition will. Get it for free now and another link. Okay. So now notice I'm doing engagement. So we have 17,000 people reached, 14,000 people liked, uh, 1,400 people liked it. So now if I want to take this ad, you see down there is the number of people that liked it, and then we have our two clicks, our two links up there. So I'm paying a penny a piece for the engagement, but I'm also getting clicks up top. It's not costing me any money for the clicks. The clicks are in the ad. Right. So a lot of people will say penny per click, but it's not really that I'm getting penny a, a penny per engagement, but I'm getting clicks from the ad because the, the, the links are up there. OK, that image, by the way, was created in Canva, like I talked about before. So that's how it works. And I'm get I can they can click on either one of them. I'm getting multiple clicks per ad and I can have two or three different uh, products or services in here or two or three different seminars or whatever. So if I have a book. I could put the book in there, I could put the seminar in there, I could put the training course in there, whatever. It doesn't matter. I could put a number of different things in the ad. There's no limit to it. Obviously, it has to make sense, whatever it is that you're selling, but that's the way that you do it, okay? All right, so that is it. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. If not, we'll see you coming up in the next video. Hello, everybody. Cameron here. Welcome to module number five of Legion Machine PPC Pricing. Now in this module, we're gonna quickly be talking about your Legion machine asset, where it should be at this point, actually getting into selling your Legion machine, your pricing structure, and some additional PPC services you can offer in the future if you so choose. Now, before we get into that, I just wanna provide a quick overview of the entire local Legion machine process. Now, if you remember, we talked about setting up these Legion money sites. Our first, our first training in this series had to do with setting up these Legion money sites that have SEO traffic coming to them. This module, we focus on how to build in the PPC to our Legion money sites, our asset sites. All these asset sites use call tracking numbers, which then get forwarded to our new clients. These are now leads for our clients. We can give these leads to our clients for free to prove that our site works at first, and then we will sell the site or we can use these to close the client and just provide it on an ongoing basis and then again sell the site all right now with this money site we this this particular local ppc we're talking about driving ppc traffic okay you don't actually have to create live ppc campaigns in, in order to add the asset to your money site okay it just has to be ppc ready i cannot stress that enough 
you do not have to have live campaigns running unless you want to if you want to do that and if you just want to let's say you set up live ppc campaigns that go to your money site it goes to a call tracking number and then right here this will be actually be another box right here where you just sell the leads right away so i like to go a factor of 10 to 50 if i do something like that and i sell that lead to the client well then that's a different story but for this for this process for the way that we initially use it and the way that we primarily use it we set up these money sites just in order to sell them on the back end okay so when it comes to ppc it's all about the value that you deliver back to your client so it doesn't actually have to have ppc up and running and be live you just have to add the asset add that facet to your money site in order to add more value to your site increase the profit of your site increase the price that you can sell it for and then flip that to your offline client all right so i just wanted to want you to understand that before we actually go more in depth into pricing okay so let's talk about it your ppc asset your, as i mentioned before your ppc site your site your legion asset only has to be ppc ready okay it doesn't have to have live campaigns running where you're spending a hundred dollars per day before you can sell it as to have that additional asset to it it simply has to have ppc ready okay i do recommend that you have the campaign set up already so if you have ppc um if you're going to be selling your site as a P with the ppc asset i do recommend that you already have like a, a basic campaign set up and ready to go so all you would have to do is start the campaign maybe do some keyword research if you didn't go in depth into keyword research before but just having a basic setup ready to go and a basic understanding of ppc i think is important you can say when you can tell your client hey if you were also to add a a an extra five hundred dollars per month and ppc and paid advertising to the to the asset to this website that i'm selling you i think that you could then generate x number of more leads per month right something like that could be really really effective when you're talking about setting up and selling your asset okay if you actually want to know how to kind of get to that number and how to determine how much traffic and things like that again we cover all of that in the advanced training okay next um, i recommend that you have at least three ad groups set up ready to split test again that's just kind of another one of those value added things to your to your asset that you can tell the offline business owner who's purchasing your site about you know you can tell them like hey, we have these campaigns up and ready to go not only that we have these different you know targeted keywords that we recommend that you go after if you're ready to start ppc as well all ready to go and we already have the split test set up having something like that is really really powerful and really shows that you're on top of your game and that this site is really ready to produce leads for the value and value most importantly for the client right away and then finally we have landing pages now landing pages are crucial they're really going to really drive up the value of your website if you have unique landing pages set up and this for this particular training because landing pages are so is so much more information that we can pack into just trying to add it to the ppc training only that's how important they are we're not going to actually have the full ppc training and until our next the next portion of the local legion machine training so that's going to be a separate training that we're going to have to cover another time in the future it's not a part of this but if you have something like landing pages already set up and ready to go as well again that just simply adds value to your site adds value to the amount of money that you can sell and realistically deliver to an offline business owner okay so let's talk about selling your asset again you do not have to have live campaigns up and running you simply have to have your asset your local legion machine site ready ppc ready now mario has an entire module just on the pitch that we use and that he has personally created in order to sell these legion sites so please 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 watch that but again if you just kind of want to go the churn and burn route all you have to do is get your site up and ready ppc ready have some of those those things i talked about in the previous slide have some of those things ready for your legion machine site and then you can just keep churning out these with these ready to go legion machines okay all you have to do just get out there and start selling your asset how much should you start pricing for your local legion machine well 
if you're just doing it purely as a setup and it's kind of PPC ready, you don't actually have any campaigns live running going through it yet. I just start out as a lower price. Again, if you have, if you go back to the actual entire local Legion machine, if you have something like SEO already set up for that website and you've added in PPC, then you're just kind of combining the prices, right? So you will be starting off a little bit lower price, something like a thousand to two thousand dollars, maybe if it's just PPC ready only. Um, if you have SEO added to it, then you're talking about a website that it, and it actually has traffic coming in from SEO. Then you're talking about an asset that's worth, you know, upwards of four or five thousand um, dollars. PPC only ready. It's going to be a little bit lower price, you know, just like having just basic SEO on it, on it only. You're talking about a website around a thousand bucks. Now, one thing that I like to do, and I do this all the time, especially when I just sell the PPC ready websites, what you can do is you can actually do a full PPC campaign setup. And by that, I just basically mean you just get in there, you set up the entire campaign, set up landing pages, you set up the different split tests, you set up the different ad groups, and you just do that all basically as a one-time thing as a setup. And you just say, okay, here's the website that I'm selling you for 500 bucks PPC ready. Now, if you want me to actually set up all the AdWords side of it, that's going to be $2,000. Or if, depending on the size of the ads and how much they actually want to spend, I will say 15% of the total ad spend. So if I'm working with the client and they're ready to spend $10,000 per month on advertising, obviously you're going to have to set up a much, much bigger campaign. So it's not really cost effective or, you know, to for you just to do it for $2,000 at that point because you're going to have to do much more keyword research going to have to create a lot more landing pages a lot more ads and things like that so then at that point i would say okay it's going to be about 15 percent of your total ad spend i would just determine what their total ad spend is first so what you don't want to do is you don't want to go out there and say okay i'll set all this up for you for two thousand bucks and then they say okay great well we want to do ten thousand dollars a month in ads you're then you can't then say oh never mind actually i want to do something more so basically when you're selling an asset and you're determining what the price is if you want to do something like a ppc setup then you're going to have to do something more along the lines of just finding out how much they want you know finding out how much they want to spend per month on advertising because that's going to make you then determine what your price is going to be because the more you have to set up the more that you should charge okay and again just remember that when you're talking about pricing with these local legion machine sites it's all about a value-based selling right how much value that you can re then return to them so if you're selling, setting up a PPC campaign and it's gonna be something that they're gonna be using you need to make sure that it's done really well ha high quality that's actually something that you can easily outsource um, and you just have to make sure that it's gonna be able to deliver more value than they paid you so if somebody is paying you two thousand dollars to set up a website or if they're paying you a thousand dollars for a PPC ready website then you need to make sure that the value that you're then getting giving back to them in return is higher than whatever they paid you okay that's what we call value-based selling that's what I do everything that I sell to offline clients that's exactly what it's based off of every single time all right and finally really quickly I just wanted to touch on some additional services that you can offer offer to the business owners okay we don't I know we didn't cover a lot of that in this training module just because it would have been too much and we really want to keep it focused on just building up your asset only but when it comes to PPC uh, like I said before a really great thing about PPC is that since it is so so many different things that you can do it's mostly about managing and you can get somebody to manage it because there's so many people out there on services like Odesk who are really proficient and do a really good job of managing PPC that once you know a few core fundamentals and core principles about PPC and you can just identify things wrong with the campaign well then it's just so easy to outsource why not just have it as an additional service that you offer to business owners so ongoing PPC services I think are great um, obviously just running PPC campaigns for people doing your own PPC campaigns okay that's really where I want to start you're doing your own PPC campaigns to generate new traffic and new leads for your business still works and it still works really really well okay uh, one-time services are great when it comes to PPC 
I mentioned that both of these and throughout this entire training already, but landing page creation, we're going to have another completely different training module just specifically on landing page because they're so great and you can do so much with landing pages. Um, so that's going to be a training that we have in the future. I'm sure we have some type of uh, early early bird list or something that you can get signed up with and Mario's going to touch on that a lot more but with landing pages make sure it's a, it's a service that you can offer right away to business owners um, set it up on your asset sites to add just simply add more value to it okay also one-time campaign setups are really great even if you don't sell a business owner your PPC lead gen machine asset you can actually set up their campaigns for them as well so what do I mean by that? Let's say you go to a business owner and they want to, you know, you thought you were going to sell them your Legion machine, but they weren't really interested in it. But you notice that they have their own PPC campaign set up. Well, you can, once you, since you now know these core fundamentals, you can identify problems with their campaigns and you can say, hey, we can increase your, your returns on your investment by 33% in two weeks. You know, all you got to do is let us set up your campaign your your Google AdWords campaign correctly so there's so much that you can do as far as just one-time services once you master their core fundamentals of PPC and then you can just simply outsource kind of the like the, all the legwork with it okay another thing is you can do is ongoing management so this is something that I do um, again just because it's it's really no difference I'm gonna be paying my outsourcing team anyway so to have them run a few more ads or have them create a few more split tests, few more keyword research, it's really the, the amount of value that my client gets out of it because they get more leads, which at the end of the day, that's the only thing business owners care about. So my client's gonna get more value out of it and I'm gonna get paid more for my client. So it's really a win-win situation, a win-win-win situation because my outsourcers don't mind doing the work. And it's, it's literally just five, 10 minute, 15 calls with clients at the end of the month. And I just say, Hey, this is what you got from PPC. They're happy with it. And that's it. So ongoing PPC management, I think is great as well. And then finally, um, you can always do a consulting flip as well from any PPC services that you offer. And the consulting flip is really great because once you can show them how just tweaking one aspect of their pay per click campaign or their paid advertising campaign and how much how drastic their results are on the back end of that in terms of the new clients they get or the new patients that they get or just the more leads and the more calls they get well then the consulting flip you can say hey you know hey business owner i i just did that for you on your ppc side now imagine what would happen if i helped you if i help craft your entire sales funnel and that's where the consulting flip comes in and working with them actually as a consulting client client is is excellent because once you do that then you're really able to add a tremendous amount of value to the client and get a tremendous amount of return for your client and obviously have a high paying client that pays you every single month five ten thousand dollars okay and that's about it all right and now that you have this core fundamental understanding of how exactly ppc works and how to apply ppc then you are now able to provide this service with a little bit of help from outsourcers, obviously, but you're now able to add this to your PPC lead gen machine, okay? Get a PPC ready, add that value to your PPC lead gen machine asset to be able to sell to business owners. And then once you get some more understanding, once you pursue some more information and get a little bit more training on PPC management, then you can start to offer some of these one-time services, ongoing services, and even consulting services to business owners all right the next module Mario is going to go more into the actual pitch so once you get that pitch you can then add this to your you can set this up and add it to your local site your current site if you already have one or set one up for yourself and then you will be ready to go all right if you have any questions please let me know you can contact my support email at mktg with cameron at gmail.com